Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today to talk about some of my favorite fall quilts and decor items. It is actually almost fall, the day that I'm recording this. I think the official start to fall is, is in a few days, less than a week away, but it's still pretty warm where I live. Regardless of that, I'm getting ready to do my fall decorating and I thought it would be fun to share with you some of my favorite quilts, projects, and, and smaller items that you can use to decorate your home. And I believe I have links for almost everything that I'm going to share with you so you'll be able to easily find the patterns. So we'll just get started and I'm going to kind of talk about what's on the table here first and then I've got a whole stack of other projects ready to go. Okay, first up, I'm just gonna share this little fall basket. This is something I made when I really was new to blogging, and it's a free tutorial from a blog called The Pink Penguin, and the designer of this basket had everybody in the quilting blogging world at that time making her cute little baskets. And so, of course, I made a fall one. It's really fun to set on a table with a bunch of, you know, little knickknacks or goodies in it. And I'll link to this. This is a free tutorial. And actually, while I have that one out, I'll show you I also did a Halloween version that's great for fall. So these baskets are super fun and just add a nice little accent on a shelf or a table. This is a fun fall pumpkin that there is also a pattern for from Fig Tree. And I was really lucky because Joanna of Fig Tree actually made this for me. So it's kind of one of my little treasured fall decor items, but she does have a pattern for it and I'll link that. This is a pillow that I did using my Maple Sky Mini pattern. And so this is available. Uh, I've got the Maple Sky Mini quilt right here. So this is just like a little wall hanging table topper. And I just did four of the blocks to make it into a, a fun pillow. So I've got a pattern for this one that I'll link in. Later when we get closer to the end, I'll show you the larger version of these projects because I have a full size quilt pattern too. This is probably my newest and I have a, a little pattern for this one for you. I, just thought it would be so fun to make a little, to sit on a table, a little pillow with a pumpkin and some maple leaves and a star. And so I put that together and then I felt like it needed a companion pillow. So I did this simple patchwork with some of the same fabrics that I used in the pillow. And so they're gonna sit together on a table in our family room. And I'm also gonna have the directions for this on my blog so that you can you know, just make this yourself. This is will just be free little direction thing for how to make it and for and I'll let you know what size pillow forms I have inside all of these pillows too. Okay, uh, this one, I probably should have showed this first because this is probably the the fall project that kind of started my love of fall. My grandmother made this for me years ago and she hand quilted it and I believe it was a Thimbleberries pattern. I'm not sure if it's even still available now, but my grandmother really loved doing fall projects and I've used this as a wall hanging at different times and I've also used it as a table topper. But you could easily do the same layout using my Maple Sky mini blocks. You could, you could actually kind of make the maple leaves and set them this way. So this is, this is one that's near and dear to my heart. Next up, this is also a free little tutorial. I have a little wire stand that sits on a table and I like to change out um, seasonally just a little mini, mini quilt wall hanging. And so this is my fall version and this was also a free tutorial on my blog. I believe that on the blog it's made in Christmas fabrics, but I use the same exact tutorial 
and I just did these this kind of fallish flying geese mini and I will link that as well. Next up is probably one of my favorite table runners patterns that I've used and I made I have probably made 25 of these in all different and this is a fall one it's a pattern by Heather Mulder Peterson and I I'm not sure it was in a book I'm not sure if it's still in print but if it is I will find it and put a link to it but I have this table runner from that book made up in everyday fabrics in every seasonal fabric you can imagine and it uses charm packs and it's, it was a great thing I've given a lot of these as gifts and of course I have the Halloween version as well same pattern so and this one actually kind of goes with my little basket I have them together when I decorate if I if I get a chance before we air this video I'll, I'll take some pictures of some of these things around our house get some pictures of how I use them and kind of how I f display them. This one is actually, I misspoke when I said this pillow was my newest, but I, this is my newest finish for fall. And this is an Atkinson Designs Charm Pack table runner pattern that is super fun and fast to make. And I used All Hallows Eve by Joanna Figueroa of Fig Tree, and this fabric is in stores now. I have some more of it and I want to make a bigger project but a lot of times I'll make something smaller first like a runner or a pillow just to kind of see how I love how the fabrics play together and so this is actually my newest fall project. This one is from a couple years ago and it is the mini pumpkins quilt by Allison of Cluck Cluck Sew. This one it was so much fun to make and I haven't made the large version, but she does have a large version. They are two separate patterns. I'll link them both. But she has a, a large pumpkins quilt. And then she also has this mini that I really love. Speaking of pumpkins, I actually have a pumpkin quilt that I designed for the American Patchwork and Quilting 2021 calendar. So if you get a chance to buy that for next year, I have a fun pumpkin quilt in there. It's kind of on its way back to me and I'm hoping it arrives in time for me to use it to decorate this year. But I will link that calendar because it's, it's a really fun quilt as well. Okay, I've got two more fun fall quilts to show you and I have patterns for both of them. I, we're going to kind of do something a little different here I'm, so that you can get a better view of them. I'm going to have my son, who's usually behind the camera, come around and stand over here and hold up the quilt so I can show you those. Okay, so this is Fall Dash, and it was actually originally published also in American Patchwork and Quilting about a year ago. It made the cover, and it was super fun that I got to have this quilt on the cover. It has maple leaf blocks and pumpkin blocks, and they are nested inside of churn dash blocks, which are some of my favorites, and just did a scrappy sashing. I used all fig tree fabrics for this. I'm thinking the new, any kind of fig tree browns and reds and oranges would be great, even, even though a lot of these aren't available anymore. I use some really old fabrics. In, in fact, the border and binding fabrics were from some of her earliest collections. So it was really fun to get them out of my drawer and get them in this quilt. And there is a pattern available for this one in paper and PDF. Okay, and last but not least, this is my Maple Sky pattern. Remember I showed you the Maple Sky mini that I did the pillow and the tabletop or wall hanging with. This is the, the large size version of that and it's available as a separate pattern and again I used a lot of different fig tree fabrics for this one and and had a lot of fun just really mixing and matching and using a wide variety of fabrics I, I did kind of a low volume on this sashing that just kind of ties it all together okay so that's it for my fall quilts and decor I love fall and I feel like I 
might even get something else made before <laughs> before we transition into the holidays. We'll see if I do, but for right now, these, these are my favorites that I decorate with every year, and I even showed you my, my three new little projects that'll go up for the first time this year. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and thanks so much for stopping by.